in a basic way when we talk about tree diagrams it's about decision so the basic way of decision is if we have we are going to toss a coin then it can either be head or it can be tail so there are two decisions that can happen head or tail now we write the probabilities over here the probability of getting a head is half and probability of getting a tail is also half now the output that can actually happen known as the sample space or every possible outcome so this can be a head over here and this can be a tail over here and that's it there is no other possible outcomes so this is the most basic tree diagram now if you're uh, tossing the coin twice what can happen the first can be head or tail now if you have a head for the first one the second time you toss a coin it can either be head or tail on the other hand if the first time you get a tail the second time you toss a coin it can either be head or tail so now we have the probabilities over here the probability of getting a head is half getting a tail is half since this is trial experiment the probability will be always constant so the second time you toss a coin it will also be half probability for head half for tail half for head half for tail now here the sample space is it can be after the uh, tossing the coin for twice you can have head and head you can have head and tail you can have tail and head you can have tail and tail so these are the possibilities this is the uh, sample space after you coin a uh, toss a coin for uh, two twice so this is the basic idea now if you observe this particular structure this particular structure is actually in the yes no format so it is either a yes or a no yes no if you uh, do that twice it's either a yes no and the second time the first time is yes the second time can either be yes or no yes or no so yes no yes no now yes no follows the not rule that means whenever you have something yes that is the probability of one minus probability of no known as the not rule so if you have a probability of no that means one minus probability of yes so that is the not rule so this particular structure follows the yes no yes no rule so if we do an actual math using the tree diagram what is the probability there will be uh, two heads so the probability is going to be head and head so this is going to be half into half which is going to be 1 by 4 that is the probability on the other hand if the question was what is the probability there will be one head and one tail so now we have two options over here because permutation is going to be included head and tail or tail and head the order is important so it can be head and tail or uh, tail and head so that means half into half and since it's a permutation into two of course it doesn't matter over here because every probability is half so the basic format of tree diagram is this format where you have a yes no yes no situation mm -hmm.